Hello there, Cancers. There were, you guys were crazy busy. There were a lot of things that demanded your attention. You were pulled in multiple directions and you were trying to start over with your new life, but you know, the past still had its bearing on you. And um, last year, I feel like the energy was very, very heavy. And it wasn't until 2018 where things kind of start to move in the upward trajectory for you guys. Things felt a lot lighter. You were able to, you know, really slam some doors shut. And you were able to move away from toxic people and you were able to conserve your energy and do you focus on you focus on the the tangible uh, necessary things that you need to get going in your life and because of it you know I, I want to say like it's not just a, a stroke of luck it is because many of you had to take these um, difficult decisions or routes in order to get you where you are right now and it wasn't an easy process it required a lot of um, just kind of like putting your foot down and telling yourself and telling other people it is what it is I need to do what I need to do from from now on and I need to you know stop going back to past decisions and wavering and and thinking what is and thinking like you know what could I have done differently those things just they're, they're, they're moot points, basically. So coming into this year, you're a lot more decisive, which is something I love to see for you guys. You're a lot more decisive like a Scorpio. You're a lot more observant, too. You haven't been there for me, so I'm not going to waste my time with you. But you're not doing it in a harsh, you know, um, manner the way that the, the Scorpio people are doing. You're just going to put somebody on the back burner. If you feel like they haven't been around, if you feel like they haven't been supportive, if you feel like you couldn't change them, you're not wasting your energy on them anymore. You're putting them on the back burner. But the door is still open if they, they decide to come back then you know you will give it another go but in the meantime you're not feeding or they're not able to leech off your energy so your energy is a lot more concentrated it's a lot more directed and then I also feel for many of you big goals big plans are being planted are being seeded and um, I feel like for many of you there is now a reason for you to um, want to stabilize your life um, there is now, you know, like people who are dependent on you. There are now, it's like the right timing. It, it requires meeting a community of people that are like-minded, that want the same things, that are working towards the same goal, and everyone's on the same page. Communication is great, and everybody sees the bigger picture. So it, it requires, you know, having to deal with all the BS that was in 2017, Having to deal with family issues in 2017, people who are very flaky make promises that they can't keep, and people that, um, I, I want to say like very materialistic, very money grubbing, and uh, you know, they, they took you for granted, for example. You needed to experience all of those things to come into this year and to, to meet these like-minded people for you to realize how natural it can feel or how right it can feel when everyone's on the same page when everyone is you know responsible and they're they're where they're they're supposed to be and no one is like taking advantage of one another no one is like waiting for the other person to do all the work everyone's on the same page and it feels very um right okay so this is what you're experiencing right now I feel like for many of you this is like a big deepening of commitment we have first of all the ace of cups and this is um, overflowing emotions you know in, in a very positive way okay and we have two family cards resting near it this is building wealth and stability. This is like things that you're saving with a partner. 
you're building things, you're uh, planning for the future, you're buying property, you're adding new people into the family, you're uh, meeting each other's uh, parents and grandparents. It's a total inclusion coming together, um, blending families, making things work, and all of it is happening under one roof. And this is something that Cancerian people really have always wanted, okay? You could be young, you could be like, you know, a bachelor or bachelorette, but when friends and people you love are all in the same place, it makes you feel really, really good. It makes you feel like that sense of completion in a way where, you know, oh, all the people I love is under one roof. I get to see everybody that I love and, you know, I don't have to travel too far to go see this person or that person. Everybody's here. So when you have that sense of like blending families together and, you know, there are no hostilities between exes and, you know, um, ex-husbands, um, stepchildren, um, parents, step-parents, whatever the situation might be with our modern blended families, when everything is when everyone is accepting and when everyone's under one roof and when there's a lot more stability associated with it i feel like that's what makes you feel really really good it brings a lot of joy and contentment to you um i feel like there is a major major commitment when it comes to building wealth uh linking yourself up with another person in matrimony for example um, having like um, the okay, like me, you might be newly engaged, right? And then you're bringing your fiance home to meet your parents for the first time, or they are bringing you home to meet their parents for the first time, or you're bringing a new lover to meet your, your children if you have children um, from another marriage. So there is this coming together and sharing and, you know, nervousness, but at the same time, everything is working out really, really well because. People are all there for the right reasons, okay? So there's no hostility, there's no animosity, there's no jealousy, everyone is there for the right reason. So I feel like because of that, you're in a really good space right now emotionally. Um, I feel as well, this deals with a lot of planning. Travel, family planning, um, coming together, medical diagnoses, um, arrangements, I feel, for some medical issues. So for example, if you have people in your family who are dealing with like health issues, there's going to be a uh, positive prognosis or there's going to be treatment plans or there's going to be some resolution as it relates to medical breakthroughs. Okay. So it's like, um, taking a specific dose of medicine or doing something that will, you know, allow the the body to naturally recover without major invasive surgery. And I'm also sensing as well, um, I'm almost sensing as well opportunities to build wealth together. And it's sort of like rather than going to a financial institution, this is a card about institutions of lending. Okay. So if you need like a, mo a, a loan for a car, if you need a loan for a house, if you need a loan to fix the roof, if you need a loan for education, you're going to be getting loans through family members. Everyone is like chipping in to do certain things. So rather than having to, you know, pay an, an exorbitant amount of interest on a loan from a credit union, a bank or a financial institution, you have some people coming in in the family unit that will loan you the money and you repay them at a later date. So I feel like it's um, a lot of it is family oriented and a lot of it is, you know, getting the proper family support for the very first time because now, you know, like you're, you're, they're like your first line of defense and you don't have to, you know, go out of the way. So there's a lot more prosperity coming in with family members as well. Um, what I have here is, um, this is kind of like the old paradigm. So let me talk about this. This is the first card that came out in this spread. Okay. We have here the page of pentacles and, um, I don't see this as another person. I feel like this is an energy from the past that you are working through and releasing. It's right on top of the pen, uh, the, I'm sorry, the tower in the reverse position. So whatever old ways you've been doing. It's no longer working. And I feel like you come into the month of May with the realization that I need to shape up. I'm dealing with a different caliber. 
I need to invest more. I need to find something that's a little bit more stable. So for example, some of you are working at a job and you're just like, I really like this job. It doesn't pay really well, but I enjoy it. It's flexible, blah, blah, blah. And you know, you're probably working like 20, 30 hours a, a week, right? And now you realize that I have more people dependent on me. I'm in a relationship or there, there are parents or there are kids coming into the picture. There are addition to the family. And, or you might think about, okay, I want to buy a house and your income is not allowing you, you know, it's not like credible to allow you to buy a property. So you're going to need to change your strategy and you're going to be like, okay, I don't want the regular nine to five, but I need to shape up and I need to get myself into more of a regular schedule. So I feel like, you know, the, the carelessness in, and the, the abandonment in which you have been doing things in the past, it's no longer working or you're no longer, you don't see the value in it anymore. It might have been fun. It might have been, you know, very um, freedom inducing because you're not trapped in a an office or you don't have a rigid, stable schedule. But now you're starting to see that I want more out of life. I want to build wealth. I want to generate wealth. I want to be able to take care of everybody in my family. I want to be able to, you know, not only take care of them, but to leave a lasting legacy for them, to leave them like a savings account or to leave them, you know, a trust fund, something like that. You're a lot more serious about long-term planning, which is really good. And in the past too, the lack of long-term planning the, the, the fact that, you know, many of you might have come from good families where mom and dad always intervened. They always stepped in whenever you needed something, a new car because your old car broke down. They were always available. And because of that, I feel like you could be irresponsible a little bit and, and not have to deal with the serious ramifica uh, ramifications of, you know, not being stable on your own and having to rely on them. So now when you're on your own or when somebody else is dependent on you, you have to kind of shed away this old skin and to move into a space where I can't rely on the goodwill of other people anymore. I'm going to need to take care of myself and be financially stable and be financially independent. So it's a really good uh, maturation process for you guys overall. Um, one other thing I'm seeing here, and this is an energy of two other people that are coming in. So these are actual people. First of all, you have here an air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This is somebody that has had very, very severe hardships in their lives, okay? It's linked up with the Wheel of Fortune. This is somebody who's self-made. They're very smart, really smart, very practical, has great ideas. And um, you should listen to this person. You should listen to their advice. This is where they've been. The Wheel of Fortune is like a series of um, either their life decisions or circumstances that force them to be really resourceful. It's forced them to be, um, they have to endure these things in order for them to be as smart as they are and as successful as they are. So if you're dealing with somebody like this, I feel like it might be a love relationship for some of you. And then I'm also sensing it might be a business partner for some of you. So this is air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And this is somebody that you definitely can trust. Come to them for advice. They're very, very good with giving you proper unbiased advice. They're also very good at calling you out on your BS. If you're kind of rationalizing or fantasizing about something and it's all a pipe dream, they're going to tell you, you know, you need to shape up or they're going to give you the, the honest truth. I feel like there is a situation here where the two of you might not have agreed on things in the past, but because you really love each other, you're trying to compromise. You're trying to, you know, make things work. And against all odds, this is the month where you're going to have a major resolution with this person. And the person is going to allow you an opportunity to create and generate wealth with them. 
This is somebody that is also very financially successful. They would make a great um, accountant, um, um, a project manager, a court program like event coordinator. They're somebody that is very resourceful. They they can do amazing things with very uh, minimal resources, and you can always count on them to be where they need to be. Okay, so I feel like. It's a situation where it's just a, a, a good situation to be in if you're in a partnership with them. And if you're in a romantic partnership with them, either this air sign or this uh, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, I feel like it might be the same person with these traits. Very um, rational and also a great financial manager. It's It could be the same person with, the, with both of these traits. And they're helping you they're giving you advice they're giving you financial assistance they're giving you as well uh information as to how you can build up your wealth and generate wealth for yourself okay um i feel like i feel like it's a relationship partner where you're working towards you know the 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 same purpose and a lot of it has to do with financial freedom not having to rely on other people and not having to, you know, rely on banking and financial institutions. So they might be the one to help you, to help write your proposals, to help write your grant so that you're getting the funding that you need in order to move a project along. Or vice versa. You're the one that's helping the, them with this because you believe in their ideas and you're helping them get the funds so that they can execute their plans. But either way, it's like... Two people working in tandem partnership together, which can be very exhilarating. Whoops, let me see. Let me pull out one more card. Okay, so I pulled out three cards to clarify the Ace of Cups here. First of all, we have here the High Priestess. We have here the Six of Swords, and we have here the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. This is pretty much the end of a cycle, okay? This is like leaving a family situation in order to start something new, because the family situation is no longer working. And we also have, as well, fears and hesitation, and as well as, are we really doing this? Are we going back to the past or are we moving on to something new? I feel like for many of you, you're no longer moving back to the past because the person from the past with the high priestess, it's somebody that is manipulative, that can be a little bit like they guilt trip you or they can spin the truth or they lie by omission and they're not telling you the whole story. And I feel from some of you, this energy here could be an earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, where they are coming in with very little to offer. And I feel like the, the relationship was very distraught, okay? For some of you, this might have been like a, a work partnership that went awry, where you had high hopes for a situation, but the, the situation didn't pan out the way that you'd hoped. And then for some of you, I feel like you might have children with somebody. You might have once upon a time been in a relationship with somebody. And there is new love that's coming in store for you. And you have a new path to move forward. So I feel like many of you, this is like breaking away from old patterns, old habits, old physical restrictions, or even old relationships in order to move on to something new and something that can bring you a lot more emotional gratification, okay? Um, before we go, I'm just going to say, I feel like for many of you, you're involved with somebody here who's a major, major player um, in your life. So that means they're providing, they're kind of like the catalyst for you to start something new if you both go into business together i feel like one person has the ideas the other person supports the other person from behind the scenes so one person has the ideas the other person works behind the scene and so it's a very dynamic duel where the two of you can you know really 
uh, things can really take off. The only danger about this is, you know, if it's a business relationship, it's going to be very professional, which is great. But if it's a romantic relationship transforming into a business relationship, like if it's your spouse uh, and you're trying to, you know, open up a, like a practice, if it's your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend and you're trying to link up together, just make sure that the emotions like the 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 nurturing component of it doesn't get tossed on the wayside just make sure that you are you know that you continue to nurture the love relationship rather than just the business relationship okay so keep things in perspective because the basis of this is i have some really really great cards for you guys i'm really happy to see this because last year was really rough cancer last year was rough for you guys so it's new beginnings in love. It's like everything that you're hoping for. Not only love, but finance and money and prosperity and everything coming kind of full circle. And you're seeing there. there's so much like optimism. You're finally seeing what your future could be. And in the past, you thought, okay, I need to get over this hump. And then I'm going to be making, for example, 50,000. Okay. And now it's like exceeding your expectations. Not only are you, are you making that 50,000, you're making a lot more and things are starting to grow for you. So you're starting to see that whatever you thought you could do, you were selling yourself short before. And now the opportunities are tenfold. It's even bigger and it's even like, it's exceeding your wildest expectations. Um, it still requires a little bit more work. So you'd still need to persevere. You'd still need to persevere. And I feel like the 2020 time frame, turn of the uh, decade here, with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, the 2020 time frame is when you're going to be able to break away from this fully free and independent and, you know, in the right, uh, making the, the type of money that you're hoping for and in the right professional space that you're aiming for okay so i'm really happy to see this for you cancers um take care of yourself okay and i'll talk to you guys maybe next month bye bye